Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. It's about 3.20 on the afternoon of November 15th. And I'm out here at the new farm. Uh, Jared had to head back to get some work done. And I'm working the next two days, so I thought I'd stay and uh, do a hunt and learn a little bit. I, um, I've had deer around me for the last hour, hour and a half. I got up here pretty early, just a little after two, so I guess about an hour I've had deer around me. And um, I crept into this set that's just on the uh, east side of this peninsula, which is a big bedding area. And I'm just a little ways off the field edge, maybe 80 to 100 yards. And uh, we have this nice low spot, this slough for access. So I walked up the slough. And as I was approaching the stand, one of our shooters, a buck we call Eli, uh, is just a big, uh, big eight point. He was 20 yards from the stand, so. I took a little too long at the truck deciding which set to come to, but um, he was with the doe, and they were they worked their way uh, off to the south. So I've got a solid hour and 40 minutes left, and uh, you know this front came through this morning, and we've got kind of a gusty northwest wind. It's it's um, there's moments where it's very calm then it gusts up to I think 17 or 18 miles per hour and it's got the deer a little bit spooky but the pressure's just skyrocketing all the clouds have uh, been pushed out and I think the deer are going to get up and uh, try to feed tonight a little bit earlier so we'll see hopefully if nothing else I can uh, get some footage of some of these bucks and try to work on our aging process to decide which ones we should shoot and which ones we should give another year but anyway you can get quiet and uh, enjoy the hunt. It's about five minutes past sunset, so I've got maybe 10 minutes left to camera light. Maybe 15 since it's not overcast, but uh, I've had a great hunt. I've seen 25 plus deer and uh, at least 12 different bucks. A lot of them are young. I did see a four and a half year old nine point um, out on the field edge harassing some does. Did not get any good footage of him, but. Um, big uptick in activity compared to our last five or six hunts. Uh, this weather front has got them on their feet. And like I said, I've got to get back to work. The next two days I'll be back out Saturday and we're getting to that part of the rut, the post rut, where there's less and less does um, in estrus. And so those mature bucks become more and more daylight active again. Coming out of lockdown, the lull, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> and we've definitely experienced that these last five or six days so of course that depends a little bit on what property you're on and uh, you know your doe density and we have a lot of does here and we saw two mature bucks today bedded with does so it may be a few days yet but this um, increase in barometric pressure and you know getting later in the rut 
is resulting in increased activity, I think. So it's a great sit. I'm going to get packed up here in about 10 minutes to get out of here. I think Jared's going to be hunting the next few days. So uh, hopefully he has some luck uh, getting a big shooter in front of him.